Hello everybody, Sci Starcraft here, finally with a Zerg vs Protoss and another Heart of the Swarm commentary. My opponent is Mr. Gruenny. Gruenny, oh, EGL had fun, man, let me do that. EGL have fun, bro. Uh, ZVP. Sky Toss, very scary. Very scary. We're gonna see if this is a good game. Hopefully it is a good game because this is being cast live. Cast, you know casted isn't a word? It sounds so weird saying this is being cast, cast live. It's just, it's just strange. It doesn't make any sense, but, you know, English for the win. <clears throat> so what I like to do against Protoss is try to get a 15 hatch down. Uh, it's really greedy because oftentimes they're going to be able to get some good cannons off. As usual, That's nothing's changed there from Wings of Liberty. And also they're just going to block it most of the time. So I like to try to sneak a drone by just because it's kind of my bread and butter build is to 15 hatch against every matchup. Except Zerg. There's a lot, of, lot more cheese lately with Zerg. A lot of six pulling and stuff like that, so I don't usually do that against Zerg. But against Toss, I will. I like to start out the same as I do against Terran with the quick Overlord Scout, just because you know scouting's good. You know to whether or not you can drone up, and it ends up paying for itself in the end. Here comes the Probe Scout. It's kind of weird how like Protoss scout so much earlier. I'm gonna pretend like I'm getting a spawning pool here. He's not paying attention though, so let's send this guy down. Ooh, he's not taking the bait. I don't think I'm gonna get 300 in time. So I might just have to throw down a pool. Nope, not taking the bait at all. Yeah, there it is. So let's just throw down a pool. So that's kind of annoying. I sent in my uh, drone a little bit too soon. And also he didn't take the pool bait. I don't think he was really paying attention to the drone. But as you can see, like I'm already a little bit behind just because I tried to do that. So I wouldn't advocate going for a 15 hatch against Toss because a good Toss player like this guy will just be able to block it off with a pylon like he did uh, just right there. So. Yeah, kind of a silly silly move by me, but it's okay. I don't regret it. I don't regret trying it. So it looks like he did cancel, though, so that's good. I'm going to throw down my hatch now. That's. I think that's a mistake. Like, Protoss players are pretty greedy about that. They want to just throw it down even, uh, or they want to cancel their pylon, even though they could block it for so much longer if they don't. But a lot of them do cancel. He might be cannoning me. Now my pool is pretty close, so I, I don't know if it'll actually work. Let's see if he is cannoning me. Nope, doesn't look like it. He was probably just trying to get me to react to it or something. So, no cannons. That's good. Lings are coming on the way. Uh, I'm going to get four lings, and of course I want to get another queen for my hatchery. If we check out what he's doing, it looks like he went for Nexus first. Yeah, and the gateway is on the way. So Nexus first and then a gateway. So, already my build's kind of messed up, so it's not going to be like as fluent, as fluid, fluid rather, as it normally is. Why do I have a drone on here? What the hell? Which is unfortunate, but I don't think it's going to be terrible. I guess I was only getting two links. That's all I really need. I don't really need more than two links. Cannon is coming up. Actually, if I got four links, I might be able to push like past him. I don't know. I don't need three queens. So let's do that. Actually, I kind of do need three queens, but I'm going to end up getting an, uh, the next one at this hatchery anyway. Am I getting an overlord? No, I'm not. There we go. Now I am. That's going to be a perfectly timed overlord, so that's fine. So let's send the links in. He's probably got that cannon up by now. Yep. Yes, he does. Just now completing. Trying to block it off just in case, so that's smart. I'm going to rally down here now. Actually, I'm going to transfer some drones. I'm going to do a transfer just because the hatchery is so late. Transfers usually aren't the greatest thing to do, but whatever. Yeah, my minerals are super high because all my timings are off. That's okay. going to spread creep. Actually, let's go inject with this guy. No, let's spread creep with this guy. This guy can inject when he pops out. So with my first 100, I'm going to get speed. Second 100, I'm going to get uh, Overlord speed. I guess they're both speed, so it's hard to tell which is which when I'm talking about it. Let's do that. He is scouting out my third. I don't like to get fast thirds. I don't know. I just feel like they're not super necessary since you're not even saturated in your other bases. Let's go take down this probe. You're going to inject, and you're just going to keep spreading creep, Sir Queen. Sir Madame Queen. And let's keep getting drones, and let's get ready for that third now. Now that my bases are pretty much uh, fully saturated, I can start that out. And this guy needs to get out of the way. And I want an overlord down here to be able to scout uh, from both directions. There's my drone here, there we go. See, I'm not floating a ton of minerals, so that's fine. Now let's get that. It's overlord speed, keep spreading creep. Creep spread very good. Very good. I'm going to get a couple things just because I'm not super in need of drones right now. Just because my hatcheries are pretty much fully saturated. I'm going to start my geysers. Pretty pretty quick geysers, I think. I don't know. Like I said, uh, my timings are kind of wonky right now. So Overlord Speed is on the way. I'm going to see exactly what he's doing. He does have this tower, so let's get out of there. Ling. 
another Overlord. 19 on that base is just fine. And yeah, let's go take that tower here. Now I want to start rallying drones down there. And I really need my lair. My lair was a little bit late, but that's not terrible. Uh, my, I started my gas late, and that's part of the reason my minerals are a bit high. And my lair was late. Only have 9 drones here, but I'm rallying a lot. I'm rallying about 9 more, so I should be good there. Let's take out this zealot. Save that ling. No, I'm not going to need to save that ling. Now let's see if he's taking a third. Now I do have my overlord speed, so let's scout him out. Oh, I forgot to get my Roach Warren. What's this? Oh, he's got a Stalker, but that's fine. And this is why Overlord Speed is good. He is going... Is that an Oracle? Yeah, I think that's an Oracle. So let's go like this. What are you doing? Stupid. Oh, it was a Phoenix. It looked like an Oracle. And remember to train Overlords when you go and scout like that, because you're going to get Supply Caps. What else does he have? Is there any way I can check out what else he has? <clears throat> I think I'll just do Roach Hydra since he does have that. Uh, there we go. Stargate. Really need to saturate my third. I'm a bit slow on that. So I didn't see any gateways. I think I want to fly another Overlord in because I didn't actually see like what kind of timing he wanted to use. Oops, let's do this. I need a queen here. Doing okay, getting upgrades for my uh, roaches. Let's do this. Do I need another spore? Nah, my Hydrodens almost here. I don't think I need another spore. Really annoying that he's killing these overlords though. Gonna have to retrain those. <coughs> uh, I don't know there was a Pride of beta, beta thing. I don't know what that means. So he's still on two base. He might just try for a three base, uh, two base timing with Phoenix support. I'm not sure yet. He's probably making out making a ton of gateways right now. This is where Phoenix are really good for denying scouting, so let's do this. What's this guy? I feel like I can saturate one more wave of drones. Make sure not to supply cap myself since I am sending out more uh, stuff. Okay, so he does have quite a few sentries and zealots. I feel like Roach Hydra is going to be really good since he's committed a lot of gas to his Stargate. I don't think he's going to have um, Colossi, which is really the only thing I'm scared of right now being a pesky little guy taking out these overlords. Get back, get back, get back. I don't know why he's so intent on killing overlords and not like lifting stuff like that roach. But it's okay. Still getting phoenix. I, f I, I really like seeing more phoenix because I'm going to have hydras and they're just going to destroy the phoenix like so easily. And that means uh, less chance of colossi. So I'm pretty sure he's getting a third. I'm just going to pump out a lot of hydra roach. And hopefully because he used so much money on Phoenix, they're just going to like walk right over him, roll right over his third, or at least be pretty cost effective. Let's do this. He's, he's not going to fight this, is he? No. I didn't think so. Not going to get a ton of Hydras, although they are pretty good against the Gateway. Yeah, I don't think his third is going to be fast enough to uh, really pump out a big army that's like perfect for my Hydras, so we'll find out. I'm going to start my fourth, just because Zerg have a lot of minerals. Get that Hydra range. And I do I want to wait for plus two to actually do this? Oh, shit. Okay, go see what he's doing, Overlords. Yeah, this is what I mean. He's actually getting a lot of value out of this Phoenix. He's killing a lot of Overlords. Oh, he's not even... He's hardly mining from that. Okay. Yeah, this should be a pretty simple timing attack. Here come the Gateway units. He is pumping out Colossi, it looks like. So maybe need a Spire for some Corruptors first. Yeah, I'm okay just like... Uh, Getting tons of roaches and hydras and then waiting for my spire and plus two and upgrades and then just going in with that. I think it'll be fine. Just letting that drone probe die, that's weird. So let's get two off of here. Do this. And I want like I want about eight corruptors. Look at all my overlords dying. Man, I'm using so much money on that. Maybe a little bit too over aggressive with my overlord scouting, possibly. So uh, I want to get about eight corruptors and plus two attack and armor for my Roach Hydra and then I'll move out. What I want to do is not really win, I just want to kill all his Colossi and kill most of his army and then hopefully, oops, warping in stuff down here, hopefully my uh, economy should be so good by then that it won't even matter if he, or I can just retrain everything, it won't even matter if he wins the fight as long as I kill enough. Yeah, eat shit. Creeps right isn't bad, it could be better. My spire done. Spire is almost done. 
So I said I wanted, what, about eight Corruptors? Corruptors at this point aren't going to be for the Phoenix, obviously. They're going to be for uh, the Colossi. Let's take that out. Alright, nine Corruptors, that's fine. Let's get an attack upgrade. And also uh, Infestation Pits. Let's go back there. These guys can go on gas. Three. And I definitely want some Spores. Or a Spore and some Spines. Just because I'm going to start getting swarmed with Minerals. I'm going to send my Larva Queen, or my Creep Queen. I'm going to get some more roaches. My que creep queen is now going to be my inject queen there because I have plenty of tumors that are uh, up and running. And I should have a ling at one of these bases to check for a fourth, but I don't. So I'm feeling pretty good about this game so far. I definitely want to get my hive up, like, ASAP. ASAP. There we go. No base there. That's really good. And I think I just hit my plus two on my melee. Or my range and stuff. Alright, so let's go. Uh, I'm kind of concerned that I'm not going to have enough Corruptors, but we'll see. He might have four or so Colossi. Three. And he has Storm. This is fine. This is actually not bad at all. I mean, he's going to lose all his Colossi. He's losing a lot of his uh, Zelts and stuff. Yeah, this is fine. As long as he doesn't retrain the Colossi, because I'm getting a lot of Roaches. So it didn't look great, but I think I'm in okay shape right now. I just need to retrain. Oh, I lost more Corruptors than I thought, though. That's unfortunate. So Hive is on the way. I'm going to get another Greater Spire. I really want to deny this fourth. I can't let him have that fourth. So I'm just going to keep pushing it, and hopefully my sick, sick economy right now is going to be just fine. It didn't... I mean, that didn't look real great. I lost more Corruptors than I wanted to, that's for sure. But like I said, I think I'm okay. Bad Rally, though. Really bad Rally. Yeah, like that. he doesn't have much at all. He had to turn those... Oh, he turned the Templar into Archons. I think that was a mistake. I think that was a big mistake. If I can spread... Oh, I can just keep spreading creep, too. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. He's going to fight me on creep, too. Look at this. Yep. This is awesome. Just keep rallying. Keep injecting. He does have the cannons and the storm, of course. But just keep rallying Hydras. I really want to kill these cannons. Yeah, I think this game's over. Get my Greater Spire. Now I'm going to make Corruptors. Let's kill this guy. Okay, let's get back. Let's get back. It's fine. And burrow these. Heal them up a bit. Wait for another rally of units. Oh, bad rally. Bad rally. That was the second bad rally I've had this game. Mineral field here is being depleted, so I'm going to move most of these guys. Ah, oh, shit. Let's go down here. Alright. These guys are all healed up. Do I want to wait for Corruptors? No, I don't. I just want to go. Got to be ready to micro these Hydras. I'm going to try to pick off these Templar. Yeah, this game's over. More Roaches on the way. And this is what I mean. Like, I, It pretty much unfolded the way I expected it to. I'm um, just taking out his army but losing my huge army. But my macro is so good that he couldn't really do a lot about it. There's another Colossus, but that's not going to do anything. Too many Hydras. Just too much macro. Like, I have unlimited money, and I have injecting really well. So he's just going to go down. And these are going to be Broodlords pretty soon, too. Another bad rally. What's this? Oh, it's just Phoenix. So these guys are going to be Broodlords soon. So many Roaches and Hydras coming. So yeah, this is, like, I feel like I don't... Where'd my... Oh, they killed my hat drone that was making the hatchery. What a bum. I feel like, uh... You don't really need a lot of Heart of the Swarm units as Zerg. I don't know, man. It's hard to... It's hard to say. Did I not get that second Spire? I thought I did. Just checking for a fourth. Nothing there. He's being really annoying over here. Let's get uh, more upgrades. Yeah, he's being super annoying. So I just have to keep him on three bases right now. My Broodlords will be just fine. He's actually clearing up some supply for me by killing those drones, so I'm not actually too mad. This base is going to be mined out soon, so I'm going to transfer a lot of drones to my fifth. And same with this base. It doesn't need this many. I guess I can just transfer a couple. There we go. How many did he kill there? Jeez. He killed my queen, too. What a bum. And let's get a couple of macro hatches, just because you always want to have max larva. God, this guy's annoying. Yeah, take that. Eat it. These guys are going to be Broodlords, and again, I'm just going to hold them on three bases. This creep being spread this far really helped in that battle. I was able to kite back a lot better than I should have been. I don't know why he hasn't been able to take care of that or anything. 
Now I'm just going to get uh, whatever tech I might need. I'm not going to need an Ultra Cavern probably. I'm probably not going to need Fungal. Probably not going to need Adrenal Glands. But when you have this kind of money, you want to be prepared to produce whatever you can. So let's make these Broodlords. <clears throat> He's probably going to try to take this space in a couple seconds here, but... As it's uh, finishing, I'm just going to move in so he's not going to get a whole lot from it. And I don't think he can stop Broodlords. He doesn't have enough uh, Phoenix and stuff to really be able to. Let's do this. There we go. Oh, is he? are those really DTs? Yep, I was just ready for those too. What a dick. Now he's desperate. Okay, let's get some detection here too then. What a jerk. So if he does have DTs with his army, that's going to be bad, so I'm going to have to uh, uh, bring some Overseers. Now he's just being annoying. Okay, so it looks like he's moving out to protect his third once again. So I'm just going to have to do the Broodlord dance here. I wish I did have Fungal, so Fungal would be pretty good right now. <clears throat> and I don't have a lot of Broodlords. I feel like I'm too invested in Roach Hydra. Maybe even too many workers, it's hard to say. And I don't have any melee upgrades. Melee upgrades are surprisingly necessary when you're running Broodlords. Because Broodlings do more damage than you think. Alright, let's just go and attack. Now let's back up. He's gonna storm. Uh oh. This could be bad, actually. Storm's really good. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Is he gonna beat me? He's gonna win the fight. Oh my god, Storm is so good. That's where I needed Ultras. Why did I make Hy I just reproduced Hydras. I just retrained Hydras. Are you kidding me? Why would I do that? Does he have this space? Please don't s tell me he has this space. Why would I remake Hydras? That's awful. Oh, he does have this space. Fuck, I'm gonna lose this game. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. Because I uh, remade Hydras for some reason. There's That's awful against Colossi Storm. I just panicked and I was just like, must make a unit. And that's what I did. Jeez. What a mess. Well, I can corner him at least. That's so busted. That is so busted. Oh my gosh. He's gonna beat me because of that idiotic reproduction. Re reproducing the wrong units. I needed. I think I just need more Broodlords or Ultras or something. I don't even know. Uh, well, you guys saw like how well I was playing as far as like predicting what he was gonna do and what was gonna happen this game. And now you're seeing um, just me having too many uh, T2 units. I was way too invested in Roach Hydra when I should have had like Ultras and uh, Festers and Fungals and stuff. For some reason he's not pushing the issue. He thinks my economy is a lot better than it is. So, hmm. I guess I could try to send a bunch of Lings at him. I don't know. I have like absolutely nothing. I don't know why he's not just moving in and killing me. Does he have, where's my Corrupt or Overseers? Oh my god, I hate that. What the shit? Yeah, the CM's over. He's gonna kill me. Protoss, uh. Zerg doesn't really have an answer for Swarm except Ultralisks, but Ultralisks are the most inconsistent unit when it comes to, like, beating that kind of stuff. It's like, what are you gonna do? Just get blinked out? Just get hard countered by immortals? It's just, uh. It's really disappointing. Uh, so two things that lost me that game which I already mentioned kind of. First is having too much invested in Roach Hydra, which is just awful against Storm. And number two was uh, reproducing Hydras instead of Ultras or Broodlords or something. I don't know why I did Hydras. That was awful. They're the worst unit in the game. So that was really silly. I don't know what that was all about. So uh, yeah, it looks like I kind of deserve to lose this game. Rallying to my death units. Where's my Infestors? I made a bunch of Infestors, I thought. They must have all died. Oh, there they are. Nice. Good rally. Where are, does he have DTs in there? Yeah, he does. I don't think he had them with his army. But I gave you guys a good ZV, ZVP, so that's good, I guess. Where was that? Why do I have so many? Oh, because I transferred them. Okay. 
I mean, I guess this was an okay game. It was a good teaching game. Let's just go with that. Good learning game. For some reason, I have a bad rally down there. Storm's just gonna slaughter everything, though. Storm's pretty good. Alright, let's get all my queens back, and we're gonna go in for one last final hurrah. Two. Queens can be three. Infestors can be two. You guys are all just gonna pop and die, so... Have fun. Cancel these, I guess. And I guess make some more ultras. Some festers. Storm's good. Alright, it's okay, because I'm gonna win, because I'm awesome. Is he moving up yet? Yes. Nope, he's going down here. It's okay. This game's mine. This game's mine. It's his to lose. Oh, uh, why would I remake Hydras? I, I was like, oh my god, he killed my army. He's gonna counterattack. Must remake Hydras. Tons of them right away. But he didn't because he's tossed. He's bad. Like, player toss players aren't good at this game. They just, oh, I killed your entire army and I'm gonna sit back and pick my butt. Instead of just being like, oh, well, I actually win the game right now. Uh, so dumb. Toss players are bad. They're just inherently bad. Ooh, I'm gonna kill these immortals. Where are my queens at? <coughs> yeah. Look at that. Slaughtered this forest with a much smaller one. Why couldn't I just do that before? Ultras are a pretty good answer to that kind of army that he has. I guess I'll just long distance mine for a while. Uh... <laughs> Let's see if we can push in and try to kill this base. I, I can't just sit back, you know. I gotta do something. My uh, fungals weren't great. I actually lost control of my units for a second. I forgot that my queens were on three. Transfuse! <laughs> this ultra's a slayer! Oh my god! Toss had no skill. You had so many opportunities in that game and barely won. Well, that's not really true. GG. I'm just gonna leave before he can say anything. Oh, so stupid! One dumb mistake and he just bombs my entire army with Storm. It's so bad. People complain about fungal growth. Well, fungal growth does less than half the damage to Storm, but I played that shitty. I, I should have won anyway, but that was fun. You guys saw basically what I wanted to do, and I did it until up in that po uh, until that point where I made a bunch of hydros for some reason, so that was dumb. Fungal growth would have been amazing, like, fungal growth for sure would have won me the game too. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Good ZVP, thanks for watching. Fuck Toss. Fuck you, David Kim.